you do to your hair? Well, that just sort of... Take a look at Thorwald. He's getting ready to pull out for good. Look at him. Doesn't seem to be in any hurry. Uh, he's been laying out all his things on one of the beds. Shirts, suits, coats, socks. Even his wife's... Uh, that alligator handbag what wife had on the bedpost. Well, he, he had it hidden in the dresser. At least it was there. Now, he took it out, went to the telephone, made a long-distance call. He had his wife's jewelry in the handbag. He seemed worried about it. Asked somebody's advice over the telephone. Someone not his wife. Yeah, well, I never saw him ask her for advice. She volunteered plenty, but I never saw him ask her for anything. I wonder where he's going. I don't know. Suppose he doesn't come back again. Oh, he'll be back. His things are still there. Well, I guess it's safe to put on some lights now. Jack. Okay, he can turn it on now. He must have gone someplace to the right. All day long, I've been trying to keep my mind on my work. Thinking about Thorwald? And you and your friend Doyle. Did you hear from him again since he left? Not a word. He said he was going to check the railroad station in the trunk. Must be still at it. Was something on your mind? It doesn't make sense to me. What does? Women aren't that unpredictable. Hmm. Well, I can't guess what you're thinking. Honey. A woman has a favorite handbag, and it always hangs on her bedpost where she can get at it easily. And then all of a sudden, she goes away on a trip and leaves it behind. Why? Because she didn't know she was going on a trip, and where she's going, she wouldn't need the handbag. Yes, but only her husband would know that. And that jewelry. Women don't keep their jewelry in a purse getting all twisted and scratched and tangled up. Well, they hide in their husband's clothes? They do not. And they don't leave it behind, either. Why, a woman going anywhere but the hospital would always take makeup, perfume, and jewelry. Put that over there. That's inside stuff, huh? It's basic equipment. And you don't leave it behind in your husband's drawer in your favorite handbag. Well, I'm with you, sweetie. I'm with you. Tom Doyle has a pat answer for that. Though. That Mrs. Thorwald left at 6 a.m. yesterday with her According husband? According to those witnesses. Well, I have a pat rebuttal for Mr. Doyle. That couldn't have been Mrs. Thorwald. Oh? Or I don't know women. Well, what about the witnesses? We'll agree they saw a woman. But she was not Mrs. Thorwald. That is, not yet. Is that so? Come here. I'd like to see your friend's face when we tell him. He doesn't sound like much of a detective. Oh, don't be too hard on him. He's a steady worker. I sure wish he'd show up. Mm, don't rush him. We have all night. We have all what? Night. I'm going to stay with you. Well, you'll have to clear that with my landlord. We have your weekend off. Oh, it's very nice, but I just have one bed. If you say anything else, I'll stay tomorrow night, too. I won't be able to give you any uh, pajamas. <laughs> 